even if you aren't using a Google Pixel smartphone, you may still be able to test out the Android 16 beta right now. This month, Google released the fourth beta of Android 16, so this means the next version of Android has had its second platform stability update, and the developers have finalized its API and behaviors. To celebrate this milestone, we're seeing multiple smartphone OEMs offering their own version of the beta update to some of their users. Specifically, nine other companies have joined Samsung and Google to test out Android 16, including Honor, Lenovo, OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Vivo, Xiaomi, Redmi, and IQOO. Sadly, the number of actual smartphones or tablets that can beta test Android 16 right now is rather limited. However, both the Chinese and global variant of the Honor Magic 7 Pro are able to install the latest beta. Lenovo is allowing its Yoga Tab Plus users to try it out as well. And if you have the OnePlus 13, then you too also have the chance to experiment with the next version of Android, no matter if you're on the global or Chinese software. The global and Chinese version of the Oppo Find X8 also has the option of beta testing Android 16 right now. And the same goes for the Chinese and global version of the Realme GT7 Pro. Now, if you have the Vivo X200 Pro or the IQ00 13, then it doesn't matter if you're running FunTouch OS or Origin OS, as both variants can test Android 16 right now. And last up, Xiaomi has been performing a beta test with its Chinese and global customers, but only if you own the Xiaomi 14T Pro the Xiaomi 15, or the Redmi K70 Ultra. Each of these OEMs has a different process of enrolling you into the Android beta program. Some are more complex and may require you to manually flash the firmware via a USB cable, while others allow you to opt in via a sign-up form where you can enter in your details and are then sent an over-the-air update notification for Android 16. And while I would like to see more devices added to this list, it's clear that this is the most participation we've seen in the beta program over the last years. If you don't have one of these phones, you could still load up the Android 16 generic system image if you wanted to test things out or you can install Google's Android emulator and set things up that way. Android 16 Beta 4 is likely going to be the last version released before Google makes the stable update official. And many people currently believe the Mountain View tech giant will make this available at the end of May or near the start of June. Now, if you could, please remember to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel too.